Hey, Kevin, what are you measuring? Well, this is the second part of a how do you make a sculpture? You know, what are all the different steps that actually go into making one of my sculptures video? And I'm working on a large scale version of Torrent. It's an umbilic torus. And Torrent is only about four foot tall. This one is going to be eight feet tall. Just about. Do I want to explain what an umbilic torus is? Not really. I mean, you can go to Wikipedia and look it up over there. But, you know, basically in a nutshell, an umbilic torus, a torus is a ring. An umbilic torus is one that is shaped like that. It's got three sides. It's not a triangle with a straight side. It's actually got a little curve in on all three sides. The next part of the umbilic torus that makes it what it is, is instead of all of these being just this way, all the way around the shape to make the whole ring, uh -uh, no, we gotta make it harder than that. If you start here at zero, each one will rotate as it goes around the ring until you finally get back to 120 degrees. Remember, this was our starting point. So you'll finally get back to 120 degrees as you turn all these rings all the way around this structure, weld them all in. So the next thing I have to do with this is now I have to come in here and notch this out a quarter inch on all three sides, all three points, to take some quarter by quarter solid stock that I will roll and twist to make it go around this sculpture. Because remember, these things rotate as they move. So you have to rotate and twist all at the same time. This will give me my outside edge. So when I make the skin that goes from this triangle to the next triangle, now I've got a place to end it here and end it on this side. And then I just make all these little skins, all these little sections all the way around, weld them all in, weld them in on the bottom, you know, weld them in on the back side, grind everybody smooth. It should turn out nice and smooth and flowing all the way around. So I've got my pattern. Now I've got to cut 60 of these, well 59, I've got one. So I've got to lay out 59 more of them and cut them all out with the plasma cutter. So that's what I'm doing here. So this is the center hole in the triangle that my half inch round solid stock, when I make the inner ring of the torus, will go through this hole. So eventually this will all get, these will all get bored out half inch. But I figured right now I'll just leave it at eighth inch so I can just throw it on the bench, line up my edges, punch a hole. And it just so happens the shaft on my scratch all here is just a little bit bigger in diameter than an eighth of an inch. So I can just line it up and pin it in place. So this is the center hole that I drilled in the middle of the triangle. It's an eighth inch right now. Eventually it will go out to a half an inch. That's how thick the rod will be that I will make the inner ring out of that all these triangles will be on. But right now I'll just leave it at an eighth of an inch so I can just throw it on a piece of plate, drill the hole through the plate that I'm going to cut, and I can put my awl in there and it's a little bit bigger in diameter so it doesn't fall all the way through. That helps pin it in place. Now I can go ahead and draw my marks. Lay them all out. You know, try to use the sheet the best I can so I can get as many pieces out of it as I can. And then we'll go to the plasma cutter, cut them out, clean them up. I got 59 more to go. <laughs> so I'll be a couple of days making these. And then we'll go on to the next step. What is it about this shape that compels you to make it? I love the shape. It, it, it's a very alluring shape to me. Um, I love to look at it. You know, it, it's, it's calming and exciting all at the same time, if that makes any sense. It, it's beautiful to look at. Um, when you set it out in the sun and you watch it all day and you see the shadows change on it, you know, it went, what, what, what is in the bright sunlight now will 
fade and disappear in just a few minutes as the sun moves along. The fact that it's a three-sided Mobius strip is something that has always fascinated me. You know, it is a, it's a three-sided single plane object. There's only one surface. When you start here and go all the way around, you wind up on a different side. You have to go all the way around again, you're on a different side. You got to go all the way around three times to get back to where you started. Huh? <laughs> I love that. That's, I love it. It's just fun to do. It's fun to look at. Uh, I had I had Torrent at a show, and people would just stand there, and they, you could see them going around with their head and go, huh, wait a minute, and then they'd go around with their finger, and most people would actually go over and they'd look and make sure nobody was watching, and then they'd put their finger on it, and they'd trace it with their finger all the way around, and they'd have to go all the way around and around and around, and then you know, finally they would get what was going on. It's just fun. I just love it. You know, that's part of my job. Have fun. Make cool things. Make people wonder. That's what makes me excited. So I'll lay these all out, cut them all out, clean them all up, make some more. And I'll be back when I get done with that part, and then we'll talk about the next step. See you next time.